Yeah, exactly, Deanna. The proposal in Congress is really similar to an anti, uh, anti hazing legislation that passed in Virginia earlier this year called Adams Law. Now the Oaks family is pushing for change nationwide. More than a year after his death, the parents of VCU freshman Adam Oaks taking his story to Congress. I definitely wanted them to hear what kind of person Adam was, and I wanted them to understand that this is 100% preventable. Father Eric Oak says after meeting with Virginia Senators Tim Kaine and Mark Warner, both became co-sponsors of a federal anti-hazing bill. There needs to be some accountability, and these universities and colleges are getting so much federal funding, um, and they allow this to continue to happen, and it needs to stop immediately. Past efforts have not gotten enough traction, but Senator Warner hopes to see the bill pass this fall and be implemented on time for next school year. This is one of those pieces of legislation that nobody is really against. I just hope that you know, there doesn't have to be stories like Adams to push members of Congress to get on board. The bill would define hazing, something some states don't do right now, and require schools to report cases annually, similar to sexual assaults. Adam's cousin, Courtney White, says that would make it easier to track the problem and make informed decisions. It has been very difficult because if it's not required, people don't want to send you their data. The bill also requires colleges to create a campus-wide research-based training program covering hazing prevention and school policies. But White fears if the educational standards in the law aren't strong enough, it won't have a meaningful impact. We need to do things differently if we really want to create true change. The Oaks family says they also want to see that bill going through Congress increase the penalty for severe cases of hazing, something that actually failed at the state level earlier this year. Senator Warner telling me that has not been his focus so far, but he's open to further debate down the road. Live at the Digital Center, I'm Jackie DeFusco, 8 News.